Okay, I think we're good. All right, guys, time to finish up this whatever the heck I call it. I, I didn't check the title name, and I didn't check it today either. <laughs> uh, I think I think it's just really just called. Uh, hey, what, what did I call it? What did I call it? Level nine CPU highlights. Yeah, level nine CPU highlights. That's what it's called. Super special ultimate. Oh God, he was the nine. You know, it's funny. We're here when they just announced that we're getting a Pokemon uh, uh, Gen 4 remake. You know what worries me, however, is that the game looks pretty close to how it looks normally. So I'm wondering if there's going to be any actual changes. Like, is it just going to be the same game, but on Switch? Like, the game doesn't look that different, except that they made everything 3D models, except instead of it being sprites. And then on top of that, like, what's this game gonna go for? Like, is it gonna go for 60? Is it Pokemon back in DS days, like 40 to 30? So that's a little frightening. Oh no, Gandorf, no! But yeah, I'm curious on like this game. Like, what's in it? How much does it cost? Ow. That poor gaming watch. Oh, you know what I just thought of? It's, 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 it's two games. Pokemon Sword... No, Pokemon Sword. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. But we got a third game with, like, Platinum, right? Is the Platinum content gonna be in these games? Or do we have to wait for a third game? Oh, God, I just thought about that. They, 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 they could have just called it, like, Pokemon Diamond... Uh, Diamond and Pearl, and, and then include the platinum stuff. No, it looks like they're gonna probably paywall us into, you know, having to get that platinum stuff. Hmm. I'll tell you what, if if we go like the whole year and they don't tell us anything about like what platinum's doing, I think I'll just wait because I don't play Pokemon games before Gen 6, so I'm just like, uh, I might skip out on this. Why are you just forward tilt game and watch? You're gonna kill them. Also, that up tilt almost killed him. Jeez. Be, be careful, game. Okay. He almost died there. There we go. Sausage, sausage into bomb. Way to go. But be careful. You're, you're, you're in anything dying. Like that. Oh, he didn't die. Weird. Come on, Gandorf. Do anything to game and watch. He'll die. I don't know how I did not hit Game & Watch, but okay. What the? Oh, Sour Spot. There we go. Okay. Game & Watch has to be very careful, because Gandorf can hit him three times and get him to 56. Oh, no. He kicked through the sausage. And then Dory on him. Oh, no. Uh, but, yeah. I'm just curious to see how things are going. Next fight. Okay, we got Richter and King K. Rule. I feel like K. Rule has the bigger shot because K. Rule's a big boy and he has a reflect and he has a good recovery, but Richter can always turn the tides. I mean, K. Rule's a big target. Okay, K. Rule just jumped over that in forward air. Like, he, he, he shows no fear. But yeah, as I was saying for those remakes, like, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait a bit. And, oh, K. Rool, shield, buddy, shield! Oh, he is jumping into every projectile. But yeah, you, 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 you gotta weave around, buddy. But as I was saying, like, what the heck was that option? He, like, down there when he was finished up with his, uh his down air. He punished a down air with a down air. Ugh. So as I was saying, like, I'm curious like how these remakes are gonna go. So, what I'm probably gonna do is see if one, these games have the platinum content. Two, I wanna see if 
these games are going to be expensive. Like, are they going to be 40 or are they going to be 60? And then finally, I want to see if there's any changes. Like, for example, EXP share. Is that still incorporated, like mandatory, or is it an option, or is it just a thing you find? Because in older Pokemon games, they basically didn't have EXP share, which means I can't play them, because I suck at Pokemon. I, I, I don't have the patience. Ooh! Kick them out of his tether. I don't have the patience to wait a week to, like, beat a gym. Like, I, I would love to level up everyone, please. So, uh, yeah. You know, if Cable didn't fly into every projectile and reflect it a bit more, he'd be doing better. That! Like that! He just... <laughs> look! The computer's taunting him! He's like, yeah, you got hit by side B off stage. How the heck did that happen? Also, K roll. You cannot, like, just get hit by that. You took, like, what? 20% per axe? That's dangerous. He just stood there! Like, K roll, you, you either have lots of confidence or you know you're gonna win this. Like, I know it's a Richter, but you still need to be careful. Oh no, Richter, no! Ah, uh, Richter, why did you jump? And of all your options, why did you jump? Well, K. Roll won this fight, so uh, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Three, Min Min versus DDD. This is an interesting one. I kind of feel like DDD may have the advantage here. Even though he got kicked with an F smash. So here's why I think DDD wins. He's a big boy, so he's hard to kill. Number two, he's got Gordos, and so far, none of the computers really know how to deal with this Gordo situation. Like, either hit it back or reflect it, guys. But no, you just get hit by it. Some characters even run into it. So, I feel like DDD kind of has the advantage because the computer's being a bit stupid. Like, look, Gordo, what's he do? Okay, Min Min hit it. Thank you. Ooh, Min Min, good job. So far, DD has only gotten 60% on her. Okay, well now it's 76, but it's like... You didn't get a lot of damage on her. What the heck was that? She she hit the Gordo and... Okay, DDD. I was going to say, like... She hit the Gordo, and then the laser went down and hit him. And then, like... Oh, okay! Where are these Gordo plays? Like, he has landed three Gordos, and he has taken 60%. And she almost died of that spike if she was a little to the right. Like, this is a good fight. See, look! Sometimes they just run into it. But that was smart. She, like, used the laser to bounce the Gordo. Also, I don't know if the computer knows this. Oh, she tried it right there. Like, she can reflect the girl with, like, her up smash. Why did she go for that? She could have went for a grab. And now she's dead. Oh, did you see that? She, she hit him away, and then she knocked the Gordo into him. Oh, he's dead? I guess he didn't have any jumps. You have to sing it. You have to count your jumps. Even though DD has like six, he's a big target. So like, six jumps are gonna cost him eventually. Just Edgard him, and he kind of like runs out of options. He either has up or above. It's kind of hard to get just straight to the ledge. He doesn't have any like horizontal options. Okay, this DD is throwing out like his best moves. Ooh! Did you see that? Down throw into reverse back air. Like, that was nice. Back air is stronger than forward air, so, like, he got some bonus damage on that one. Also, back air has better not back. Oh, be careful, Min. You want to get away from the ledge. Oh, could you imagine if, like, her kick also kicked the Gordo? Oh, she knows what he's doing. He's throwing out dash attacks after the Gordo, so she has to react to it. 
Oh, she almost died there. Sheesh. Oh, could you imagine? Oh. He almost killed her with down B, and she almost killed him with her neutral air with her spike ball. Oh, God. Be careful, man. Be careful. Like, one more of those, and you're going to die. Heck, even four is going to take it. Min, why did you hold on to ledge? Well, they didn't want it. It was kind of more tied than I thought, be, it, than I thought it would be. Three, Hero two, versus one, Ganondorf. Go. Okay. I feel like Ganondorf might have the small advantage here. Especially since he can do that. Yeah, Ganondorf surprisingly has been kicking a lot of butt in this tournament. I mean, everyone's kicking butt in this tournament. But, like, Ganondorf seems to be doing the smoothing. I guess heavies just have an easier time in tournaments because they just kill you in like three hits. Look! Ganondorf's at 11% and Hero is at 100. I don't even know how much time has passed. Yeah, there's no timer here, so. Okay, yeah, you get that for rolling like 20 times. Like, what's wrong with you? Well, so Hero, you can afford. To die, but you can afford to jump off stage, hit him with something, and then up beat. Oh god! That's a terrifying sight. Hey, look! He's hitting Gandorf, but he's not going for anything off stage. Take advantage of it. You're you 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 have an option to hit him off stage. Okay, now Gandorf's at 104, but the hero's down a stock. And he, he just got all that damage back. Be careful. Shield getting kind of low. Man, Gander just threw up forward there. He did not care. There we go. He was going to down air him. That's what I'm saying. Like, go, go after him. He's Ganondorf. The worst he can do is side B you. And even then, like, the guy might be dumb and side B when he has, like, one life left. So it might cost him. I fought a Ganondorf, and he side B me when he had one life left, and I managed to mash out in time because Ganondorf dies first, if you didn't know. Like, when, like all the suicide moves, the character who's doing it dies first. So it's possible to save yourself. Like, I was playing as Bowser, right? And I side B the Sonic. His upbeat gives him enough, like... Oh, God! Did you see that? He ran off, neutralized him, di he died. Like, Ganondorf is a monster in this tournament. But yeah, as I was saying, like, Sonic was able to, like... Oh, God. Sonic was able to upbeat and then use his, uh... Air dodge to make it back. And I, and, I was, and I was like, what? How did you die? How did you not die, Sonic? So now I know, whenever I fight Sonic, don't side beam off stage. Some characters just live it. <laughs> Gandorf's just running at him. He does not care. He almost went after him. Oh, God, no! <laughs> he somehow knew he was going to land there, and he just up-aired him. Like, oh my God, Ganondorf. You're the man. Okay, final two. We got hero. Not hero. We have, we have well, we have my hero, <laughs> King K. Rule, and we got Deity. I feel like Deity's gonna win this just because like Deity has a slightly better recovery, and he has a projectile that really hurts, and he has a lot of good moves. Also. King K. Rool has only gotten 12% on him, while Deity has 114. Like, King K. Rool. Uh, he died to a dash attack! K. Rool, how do you die to a dash attack? Deity's even smoothing. Like, K. Rool, start fr throwing out some projectiles, buddy. Did you see that? Whoa! What is this interaction? 
he inhaled he inhaled the cannonball and then uh, <laughs> they just kept bouncing it back to each other like a game of pong like what the heck was that oh, he's trying to spike him like dude he's trying to end this fight as fast as humanly possible and it's funny because he's because they're both computers he's dead he somehow made that back K. Roll, why didn't you get up reflected? See, this is what I mean when I say like sometimes these computers make really dumb choices. Like K. Roll, okay, that was a nice kill, but you're down a stock and you're at 104, and now you're dead. You have to make, like a super comeback if you're gonna like beat this deity. Like he just loves throwing out nuclears. Like sink over your decisions. Now he's at 71. Okay. Okay. Okay, that was kind of smart. Yeah, DD wants that spike. He's like, I'm getting the spike. Look, he got it too, but he got the sour spot. Like, if he would have landed normally, he would have died. Okay, that was smart. He, he used his forward tilt when he was, like, uh, rolling in. I think Deity has this in the bag. Okay, instead of going for neutral air, how about going for some down airs? Like, come on, K. Rule. Oh, now you decide to throw some projectiles out there. I think he tried to foot school. Well, you have to be super careful now because you're at 124. 149 154 174 D just needs to like to hit you with anything and you die. I'm just waiting for it. 206! And you're dead! I'll give you props, K. Rule. You got him down to his last stock, but that was quite an embarrassing game. Final fight. All right, guys, it's the finale. We got the King of Evil versus the Proclaimed King. Oh God! Oh God! Did you see that? No! He he died. Ganon zero to death. Him. Oh my god. I can't believe that happened. Okay, Deity's bringing it back, but he's a stock behind. You saw that, right? He he dash attacked DDD, the Gordo hit him, then he up aired, and then like he back aired DDD and he died. Oh my god. Like that stock with destruction. Also, DD, why didn't you just like up air? Up air kills. Also, you could forward air to there. Oh my god. Something people like to do is uh oh. There again, he, he, he can have forward air. DD, you got up beat like four times, yet you didn't punish a single one. And he punishes your smash attack with his smash attack. Don't let, D don't, don't let Gandor free stock you. Okay, he gets a stop, but can he bring it back? Did he? Oh, okay. Well, he should have shielded that one, though. Imagine if every Gandorf was like this. People wouldn't win because they get hit by Gandorf four times and then die. Okay, he's doing some damage. Damage. Like, I feel like Gandorf has this in the bag. Like, DD's like a hit from dying. Dead? Nope. Nice spike. Uh oh. Back here almost took it. You saw that G Gandorf. He was ready. Oh! DD would have died right there, but Gandorf up air saved him. Okay. He got the kill, but just like King K. Rule, like he's at a high percent. 182? Anything will kill. Why are you dash dancing? You're a hit from dying, buddy. 
If he brings us back, I'll be surprised. All Ganondorf has to do is tap him and he's gonna die. This is surprisingly a interesting comeback. Dead! There we go! And the winner of this highlight tournament thing is Ganondorf. Ganondorf wins it. And uh, that's the end of the video, guys. So remember, like, subscribe, click the notify, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.